and welcome to this quick little video on how to install packages in R on your Macintosh computer. What packages are, are just supplemental programs, and by programs I mean functions that you can import and sometimes data sets that you can import into R. And while the, the typical download of R contains a lot of packages as is, there's a whole lot of packages out there that we can use to extend what R can do. And this is going to show you how to actually download those packages. So in R, so we'll go ahead and start R, click on Packages and Data, and then to Package Installer, because we're going to install packages. When we install packages, we're actually downloading them from the internet. So the first thing we'll do is click on Git List. And what that's going to do is first it's going to determine or going to ask us which mirror we want. And a mirror is just a repository of all of these packages. There's a lot of mirrors out there. And the first list for the Macs gives us the HTTPS mirrors. Then the S means secure. If we don't want to do HTTPS secures, we can click on HTTP mirrors which do not require a, a, a secure connection. Now, technically, all of these mirrors have the same, or theoretically, have the same uh, functions in them. And they're checked enough to where that theory is in reality true. However, I do have some sort of bias against some of these downloading sites, simply because I'm a political scientist and I know what's going on in some of these countries. So there are certain countries that I won't download from. I will, however, download from Switzerland. Great place. I will download from Austria. Great place. We're supposed to download from the mirror that's closest to us. So I think Texas is going to be closest to us. I'm going to hit OK. And this is going to set the mirror. And it's going to ask, do I want this to be my default mirror? And I'm going to say no. I like to be able to select my mirror every time. Now that we got a list of all the packages available at this mirror, I'm scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through. Okay, I'm not even up to ease yet. So let's go ahead and do a package search. And the package that we're going to install, we're going to actually do two packages here. The first one is the car package, C-A-R. And it's a package that has a lot of helpful functions in it that can be used for analyzing uh, data. So to find the car package, I can just type car in the search, and it's going to bring up everything that has a car in it, and just scroll to find car itself. Now I need to make sure two things, before I, before I clicked on install selected, I need to make sure that two things are, are checked here. One is we're going to install, the install location is going to be at the system level, so make sure that this is checked, and I'm going to want to install dependencies. Dependencies are all of those other packages that this package that we're trying to install depend upon. I'm going to click that and install selected. And then R is going to go to the internet, and go to this particular mirror, it's the Texas mirror, and it's going to download the car package. Specifically, it's going to download the pack car package version 2.1. O. And we got the spinner up here, and so it's thinking, it's working on it. This is actually a slow internet connection, so it's going to take a while to get there. If you notice over here on the console window, see if I can move over, it's telling us what it's actually doing. It's downloaded, it's trying this specific URL, and it's the Mavericks. Um, trying to download the survey package, and this one is downloading the sparse M, which is sparse matrix package, sandwich package, downloading all of these. And that's going to be in red. And then at the very end, it tells us the downloaded packages are in. This is where all those packages are saved. Not, not really important. The second package we're going to install, just so that we can, um, uh, so that we can see this happen again, is the Agricole package. The Agricole package is very useful because it has a lot of agricultural themed functions. Um, specifically, it's got a multiple comparisons function 
uh, is based on the Kruskal Wallace multi comparison uh, test uh, to help us determine which level is different from the others and how they're different. So typed in Agricole into the search bar, and there's only one package that's called Agricole. Again, make sure install location and install dependencies are checked, and then we're going to install selected. Again, it's going to Texas, it's downloading this package, Agricole, and everything that it depends upon into my computer. And it went through and did all that, and now it tells me where the downloaded binary packages are. That's actually not important for us. But now those packages are downloaded. We are never going to have to, on this computer, download those packages again. We are going to have to, let's think of it as activate those packages, but we're never going to have to download those packages again. So I'll go ahead and close the R package installer. And just so that we can <clears throat> see what we've accomplished, let's do a new document. Let's go ahead and source the usual first line script for our class. And let's just do 4013.r. We'll run that in, in Mac. That's control return. Send over here to the left. Tells all the functions that were loaded. We're attaching packages. Okay. Agricole actually has a kurtosis function, so what it's doing is overwriting the kurtosis function that we have up in that I've created. <clears throat> and so mass and agricole are now activated in our our in this script. Notice the car function is not activated. If we wish to activate the car function separately, the activation command is library. And we do need to make sure we spell library correctly. And then inside the parentheses, it's the name of the library, or I'm sorry, the name of the, the package. And then we run that, and now car is active. So that's all there is to this. In order to install packages, you'll go up to Packages and Data, Package Installer. You'll get the list, select your mirror perhaps, search for the, function, uh, search for the package. Make sure that the at system level and install de dependencies are selected, and then install selected. And then to activate them, use the library function on the package name itself. If you don't activate the package, and you'll have to activate it every time you use one of the functions that are in the package, if you don't activate the package, then R doesn't know what that function name is doesn't know what to do with that function that you're trying to use. But you only have to install the package once. You have to activate it every time you use it, but install it once. So hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in class.